All right, guys, what's up? It's been a while since I last uploaded my um, charting session, um, but today I wanted to do one because I actually just took a trade on NQ. I know it's a Monday. Mondays are normally quite sleepy for, I mean, in terms of price action, but that wasn't going to deter me from actually looking at the charts today from 9.30 to 11.30, my trading session. And I actually found um, a really good trade today. Um, even though there was no news, right? Let's check out news today. Stop Forex Factory. Here we go. So no news on Monday, no news today, no news on Tuesday, but there's CPI on Wednesday. Um, a lot of people normally won't trade on Monday, like I said, but I decided to look at the chart today and I secured a win um, just over 300 bucks today um, and yeah wanted to go through it with you guys again so on the daily time frame on NQ not too much um, that I can see we had a big bearish candle that was put in last Friday that was uh, what was it that was non-farm perils that came in and what we can see now is that price potentially looking to be bearish because there's a downward move here. Um, price potentially could be heading towards these sell side liquidity here. But we'll see what CPI brings. Anyway, I couldn't really determine um, where bias was on the daily time frame, so I went down into the lower time frames like the four hour. And we noticed as well that price put in a fair value gap here on fall fair value gap um, price literally encroached fully almost into this fair value gap before dumping down again um, but i was actually looking at this on the hourly time frame why on the hourly time frame because price is actually pretty clear here in terms of um, liquidity rates market structure that sort of stuff and you could see that there was actually liquidity rate at this level. Big bearish downward move. Price put in a one hour fair value gap here. And it actually came into um, a premium. Price came into a oops. Price came into a premium of you know above 0 0.5 between 0 0.5 and 0 0.618. So that's premium if you're looking for a sell market and I was actually looking for sales today why because in the past let me put my indicator up you see in the past uh, let's see since the 22nd of August price has been making downward moves all the way and I wasn't just gonna be looking for any buy side um, even though price has taken this sell side liquidity level here I wasn't just look, looking at buy side at all because I'm following order flow right so and furthermore if I take all this away you could see that there's actually low resistance liquidity run here which price has put in since last Friday surprise surprise um, I've said many times before, when price does this, it's engineering liquidity. Price always does three things on the market or on the charts you see. First, it will be engineering liquidity, you'll be hunting liquidity, and it will be rebalancing equilibrium like what we did here. So I wasn't looking at price too much. In a, I didn't really even do my price analysis over the weekend because um, it's just nothing to really look at but at 8 30 you could see price took out um, sell side level here rushed upwards and took out buy side liquidity here um, a lot of traders would actually rush in into you know taking longs here but we must know on the hourly time frame like we've mentioned before price went into premium and when price went into premium smart money will look to 
probably look to sell off, which what which is what which has happened here, right? So I was looking at 9:30, 9:30 as well. If we go down to the uh, one minute time frame, 9:30 price indeed. If we zoom in a little bit, 9:30 here. Where's my vertical line? Oh, it doesn't matter. So at 9:30 here, price took out mini sell side liquidity encroached into this one minute fair value gap here and ran upwards towards the buy side liquidity here so I was just watching 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 because price wasn't really that energetic towards the upside and once we know price has taken some sort of buy side liquidity here um, with all that with all those buy stops being activated and all those stop losses being activated, there's a possibility that smart money will look to sell with all that liquidity has now been obtained. And truly enough, we could see price actually put in a one minute fair value gap here before obliterating it with um, a huge displacement here. Look, this big displacement, this area. Just put that in yellow. Put big bearish candle here, which took out this one minute fair value gap. Another one here. We've also got a mini turtle soup. I shouldn't say mini, but there was a liquidity raid here with also a change of state delivery here. Now, I don't really take trades if they're not dumb clear to me so this was really really dumb clear why i couldn't find any bias on a daily time frame right like on the daily time frame it was just super unclear we could see a big bearish candle but you know if, if we're scalpers we're just not going to take a short and hope that price will reach here with with where what's your stop loss going to be it's going to be humongous and the risk to reward ratio isn't going to be super favorable. So I jumped down to the hourly, like I said, and I looked for my um, my entries there. All right. So on the one minute chart, we noticed that there was a turtle soup form. There was also change of state delivery. Um, and I took out my low resistance liquidity run trend line, but you can see here all these sell side liquidity that has been engineered price will look to take them all in one go now i wanted to preface this in the video a lot of you guys will probably or well, a lot of radio traders tend to jump in into this trade which which stop i mean well this is what i i did very much in the first couple of years when when i trade when i look to see when you know oh price is going to displace upwards you know i'm just going to take a buy here but you got to wait you gotta wait. You gotta you gotta follow what your high time frame buys is going is, is telling you, right? Price is actually now trading in a premium area. So once it's in premium, you know that price is likely, possibly or probably going to be looking to take price downwards. Um, and on and we can also see here, it is a market maker sell model, right? So we've got buy side that's been engineered here. Price took out liquidity and immediately sold off. So if I chuck in my chuck in my um, executions, that's not execution. Apologies. You could see that I entered my trade at around ten thirty, which was one hour after opening time. Um, I pyramided the trade again at 10.57. Why did I do that? Well, because once bias has been formed, I know that price is going to be looking to take out sell side liquidity. I noticed that price immediately came back up and formed another turtle soup. And with that turtle soup here, I'm going to show you this trick. So not really a trick, but more of a... Um, how I traded today. So I had my stop loss above this fair value gap here. Why fair value gap? Because if price look will look to, I mean, 
uh, let me rephrase. If price will look to trade back upwards and fully engulf this fair value gap, it will invalidate any short positions um, that I have anymore, right? If if price eventually, if it engulfs this fair value gap, it will probably reach buy side liquidity here, right? So that's where I put my stop loss and my take profit. Actually, I use standard deviation today. It's more of a projection tool, which you can use. Um, I actually had my stop loss around 2 to 2.5 between here. So it was about a 1 to 2.74 risk to reward ratio. But I eventually took out at 2 because, well, I felt I looked at price. It eventually came out. Arrived at negative two here, and it displayed a significant amount of strength by, you know, almost engulfing this one minute CB here. Sorry, this one minute CB, or you can call it one minute fair value gap. So price engulfed it, you know, above the fifty percent mark of the one minute fair value gap. I just took it off um, and as you can see and you know in real time here price eventually turtle souped again um, before running upwards um, it could be targeting buy side liquidity here here or eventually looking to rebalance um, you know towards this discount before running down again but I mean I, I, I'm not I'm not I'm not greedy today so as soon as it reaches my projection of negative two, um, I basically took my trade off. Um, so basically, why did I pyramid here? Because once I took a trade here, when when it went down all the way here, I was progressively trading my stop loss, and eventually, um, it was a risk free trade because once it reached that target. My stop loss was basically underneath my initial trade and when I took this trade here my stop loss was above this high and I was actually targeting here as well um, I, I could have I could have made a little bit more if I had I waited but you know I just I was just following my rules when um, a favorite gap gets engulfed like that, I normally will take it off because it just signifies to me that price potentially will look to reverse. Um, and so basically with with this first trade running at a risk-free trade, uh, I eventually open up another one because, you know, like I said, turtle soup, downside, market maker sell model. Um, so whatever I risk was just here. Um, and that's how you pyramid trade. Uh, but anyways, um, how do I use this standard deviation tool? Well, it's pretty quite simple. If I just take away everything first, including my uh, kill zone. So basically, how it works is that well, you can watch ICD videos on it as well. So basically, what you want to do is that you take your fib, you measure it from the manipulation leg here all the way here so what what do I mean by manipulation leg? so it's the leg before the manipulation happened so you can see here this is your turtle soup right accumulation so this is your accumulation here accumulation manipulation and your distribution so this would be considered your manipulation leg. So what you want to do is take your standard deviation tool, which is your Fibonacci, drag it from, you know, from your higher high to your higher low here. If that's a sell, if it's for buy, it will be the opposite. And these are my settings. You guys can just have a look. You guys pretty much just modify the figures here um, and use any color scheme that you want and that's how it works so in a lot of cases price will tend to treat this negative 2 and negative 2.5 as a a bouncing area 
um, price tend to use this as support or resistance but in actual fact I'm still looking for price to eventually possibly reach towards these levels here um, where is it eventually run all these levels here um, and eventually probably target the daily sell side liquidity like I said which is down here because we've got equal lows here but it probably take some time to play out but as scalpers you know we we capitalize on short-term moves of the market so yeah I know there was a lot today um, I, co I covered a couple of things including you know market maker sell model standard deviation pyramiding um, but I just want to um, let you guys part ways with have a think about patience you know like everyone wants to trade during the trading session oh they see a manipulation they take it upwards but always always align your internal draw with your external draw and follow and have contacts with um, trading contacts with your high time frame bias so anyways um, hopefully that video was helpful uh, was a bit of a trade recap um, I know I said a lot of stuff but I think all these things would be super helpful for you guys um, well thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys at the next one